Well, we just watched uh, Kevin Von Erich in an outstanding match against Jim Nelson, and uh, Kevin, congratulations. I may say, must say this, that I think uh, Nelson uh, started to give you a run for your money. Well, he was a tough competitor. Uh, you know, one thing about wrestling here, um, I really love it because I can, I've been winning my matches in a uh, scientific-type uh, manner, and that's the way I've been brought up to, uh, to win them that way. And, Everything's been going great. Going for me great here. Well, it has been indeed, and I might just point out that Kevin is one of those two who is seeking that national heavyweight championship that the superstar uh, seems to be uh, just holding back on. He, legally, he has 30 days with which to defend that title, but I think he... Just a second. Nobody cares. Nobody cares what you love, boy. You know, I know that you come from a wrestling family, boy, but nobody cares about that. And I know I've checked your records, boy. You've won a hundred matches in a row without being defeated. But nobody cares about that. So why don't you just fuck off, boy, and let some men do the talking? You're burn, burn me, Gordy. I've been under it twice now, and you've interrupted my interviews. I'm not afraid of you guys. I'll take either one of you. you got belts, and I want both of them. Listen, I'll take one. all you got to do is listen to us. It's not what you got to say. It's what we got to say. Is that hey, that, that's right, baby. That's right. So why don't you just bug off? And, boy, if you want either one of us, it don't matter. It can be arranged. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I think that's quite enough. And, uh, obviously, uh, I apologize, uh, Kevin, for the interruption by these two. No apology necessary, uh, Mr. No, I'm, I'm right, no problem. No apology set necessary because, you yeah. know, uh, that's what it's all about. Well, I, I can understand how you feel about that, and I may just say, too, that uh, uh, it'll be curious. I'm curious to see if either one makes sense. I've interrupted on here twice now, and uh, I'm getting a little bit burned now. Thank you so very much, Kevin Von Erich. Ladies and gentlemen, this tag team event one fall with television time remaining from Knoxville, Tennessee at 215 pounds. Here's Keith Larson. Keith Larson, his tag team partner from Florida, at 205 pounds, Denny Brown. Denny Brown. Their opponents are the Georgia tag team champions from the Fiji Islands at 245 pounds, Jimmy Superfly Snuka. Snuka. His team partner from Chattanooga, Tennessee, at 270 pounds, Terry Gordy. Terry Gordy. All right, it's uh, Terry Gordy and Jimmy Superfly Snooker going up against uh, uh, an outstanding combination here in uh, Brown and Larson. One fall, 10-minute time limit. Gordy moves in and his man ducks away. Good duck under go behind, and uh, Gordy very quickly slipped away from that. As we said, of course, this is an Australian tag team match, and uh, the Georgia tag team champions, Gordy and Snooky, out there uh, against this combination. There you see Terry Gordy. He is a brash sometimes overconfident man, but he certainly backs up everything that he says. There's no question about that. All right, Larson now in the red trunks taking some punishment here. Keith Larson. Full body slam on him. And the uh, thing about Gordy is he is a tremendously impressive young man. Big, powerful, and now, of course, Jimmy Superfly Snooker moves in. Snooker has to be, in my book, one of the most dangerous opponents ever to grace a wrestling ring. Step over stance with the arm bar by Snooker. Keeping Larson tied up. Denny Brown has not yet had an opportunity to tag up, and Larson should indeed get over and tag up as quickly as he can. Gordy and Snooker both. 
Delivering boots uh, to the shoulder and to the rib cage. Uh, uh, Larson. Referee warning Snook about getting back and holding onto that turnbuckle. That is a, a critical point. Forearm into the chest. Another forearm on Terry Gordy. And Gordy looking like somewhat like an enraged grizzly at that point in time. Good block by Gordy. Jeff Larson getting over to make the tag with Brown. Larson off his feet once again. And Snooker. Considering the uh, experience he has, the physical conditioning that he has, still will resort to those shortcuts every opportunity he gets. They are, in fact, however, the Georgia Tag Team Champions. Snooker explodes again on Larson. Snooker, 6'1", right at 250 pounds. He's been a professional wrestler for the past 10 years. Larson now using those forearms. And I'm sure at this point would like to get over and make that tag with Brown. Makes the tag. And Brown moves in. Now, mind you, Brown has yet to be in the ring, so uh, he is completely fresh. Ah, uh -uh, Gordy takes a lot of steam out of him in a hurry. Gordy brings him up. High vertical souffle. And Brown has to be stunned from this. Snooker off that top rope. Crashes down across him. Full body impact on Brown. And Brown still doubled up. I'm sure still trying to get oxygen into his system. Terry Gordy sets him for the pile driver. Delivered that pile driver. And uh, I can't believe that any competitor is going to get up from that. And he did not. Brown demolished by Superfly Jimmy Snooker and Terry Gordy. And I do mean demolish, certainly no question about uh, exactly what happened just then. The Georgia Tag Team Champions proving once again that they are indeed an extremely dangerous combination. And uh, I must admit, gentlemen, that uh, your victory uh, certainly was impressive. Did you see that, Gordon Soley? That right there goes to prove that we can't get no competition around here. You know, I know Michael Hayes, he went out and he got Andre the Giant to be his partner. But that's still no competition. Because, you know, Andre the Giant, he's got the size and he's got the strength. But he hadn't got the speed. And he hadn't got the agility. He, he's too clumsy. Well, See what I'm saying, Gordon gentlemen, Soley? first of all, and in the Omni. let's talk about the Omni tonight. You say the man doesn't have the agility and all. May I point out to you that Andre the Giant has played uh, soccer, rugby. He moves exceptionally fast. I don't care, Gordon Soley. A man that big, he's got to be clumsy. And you know, look at us. Look at our size. We got the strength. We got the speed, we got it all. And in the Omni, Andre the J, you're gonna fall, boy! And every time you're gonna get up, you're gonna fall again! So we finally get rid of you! <laughs> and then, <laughs> Michael Hayes! Michael Hayes, we got something for you! In the Omni, boy! After we get rid of the big goof! And he is gonna fall, Michael Hayes! And you ain't gonna have nobody to hide behind in the Omni. We're gonna get rid of you, boy. It all happens tonight, 8.30, at the Omni. It's the real, real big and real, real dangerous. Well, you hear the music. That indicates only one thing. The original, fabulous Freebird, Michael Hayes, and look who he's got with him. Baby, I said I would get my man. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, easy. The man here, and if you notice, he is feeling nasty. <laughs> you see, he got the shirt unbuttoned. Let me get that. Oh yeah, he got the grubby 
face. I love it. He ain't going to shave. Tell him what you're going to do, big baby. <laughs> he going to get a hold of baby Shoe. Well, uh, all right, obviously here. Uh, I got my man, you understand? A really very, very confident Michael Hayes, a fabulous freebird, moving out with the eighth wonder of the world, my good friend from Grenoble, France, Andre the Giant, seven feet, four inches tall, averages around 450 pounds, depending on uh, now up to 485, and uh, you haven't grown any shorter, that is for sure. Very good. Even after uh, two months in the hospital, I'm more than very good, and I'm ready to wrestling some different way. Because they want to wrestling dirty, I go to wrestling dirty too, because I gotta show you I could wrestling dirty anytime I want. Well, all right. What do? Let's start then with tonight in the Omni, because of course... Wait a minute, Tennessee... before we go to the Omni, let's go somewhere and drink some Tennessee whiskey and get right. How many gallons you get? As many as you want to do, baby, because tonight in the Omni... I want two bars. I've been waiting for this for six long weeks. And I tell you, you say you got a surprise? Oh, la, we do, we got something for you. But when I get it, everybody's gonna know just exactly what I've been talking about and just exactly what I've been waiting for. And I just want to say this to you, since what? you are kind enough to do what you're doing for me, I know you don't like me, but you're doing it anyway. In Huntington, in Columbus, anywhere, I will be watching your back. I just want you to sit in that corner and give me that whiskey and let me go to the Ah, nasty, baby. Fantasia. Tonight in the Omni, baby. Andre and the Freebird going to fly. There are going to be it. some dues paid tonight at the Omni here in... I must say that I have to admire both these men for some very, very specific reasons. Because I don't think either one of these men really know the meaning of the word fear. Hey, that's right. You know... Heard Michael Hayes out here talking, and you know he's really got the nerve standing out here calling people names. You know, Michael Hayes, I'm far from being a baby boy. I'm far from being a baby, and as a matter of fact, I'm all man. And this man standing beside me right here, he's all man. And you put us together. Two men together, we like to get nasty. You know, I heard you out here talking about getting nasty. And you're saying Andre is going to get a little nasty too. Well, baby, there's nobody, and I mean nobody, that can get as nasty as the superfly and the master of disaster. And like I said, boy, I'm far from being a baby. Well, for, first of all, tonight at the Omni, you and Superfly Snook are going up against Michael Hayes and Andre the Giant. Now, surely, do you honestly think you've got a chance against Andre the Giant? Hey, like I said before, and like I'll say again, Gordon Soli, it's like this. The man's too big. He might have the size. He might have the strength. But he hasn't got it all. He hasn't got the size, the strength, the speed, and the agility. So tonight, in the Omni, the big man's going to fall. Everybody in Atlanta going to think there's going to be a big explosion when he hits. But it might not happen just once. It's going to happen a bunch of times. Because every time he gets up, the big man's going to fall. And then, Michael Hayes, you're going to be left all along. And we're going to get on you, boy, so bad. And it's going to be worse than your face being wrapped in a mat. It's going to be maybe an arm broke. Right here in the Omni tonight. Well, we're going to find out. Here's the comp Australian tag team match. Terry Gordy and Jimmy Superfly Snooker moving up against the uh, combination now. Joe, but in there offering plenty of uh, punishment now. Gordy trapped on those ring ropes and uh, he's facing a very, very aggressive competitor. Now Terry Gordy exploding with those forearms. Snap Mare that takes him back to the campus once again. So Terry Gordy and Superfly Snooker. They are the, uh, as I said, of course, the Georgia Tag Team Champions. 
Gordy has not been competing that long as a professional, but he has great natural uh, talent, great natural ability. There you see them double teaming. Snuka, however, has been 10 years in the ring, born in the Fiji Islands. Went to uh, high school in Hawaii and Hawaii State College. And I might point out that Snuka not only is an outstanding wrestler, but also is a uh, outstanding amateur boxer. Great speed. There he makes the tag, and wait a minute. Michael Hayes has just appeared upon the scene. Michael Hayes. And uh, this is caught. Wait a second. There is the eighth wonder of the world. Now, Michael Hayes is 6-1, and look at the way Andre the Giant powers over him. Andre the Giant are better than 480 pounds now, and the two of them watching this match, and obviously Michael Hayes pointing out Snuka and Gordy uh, to Andre, and of course Snuka and Gordy have caused Michael Hayes a lot of embarrassment, a lot of strife. And uh, may I just say that uh, as long as they stay outside the ring, everything's all right. And the referee concerned about that, too. And uh, Gordy continues to move against his opponent, but Michael Hayes and Andre the Giant standing outside watching this with more than casual interest. And Gordy continues to be upset over the fact that these two are outside the ring. I might point out they have done nothing. They have made uh, no moves whatsoever. Dollar and elbow once again. Snooker driven back to the turnbuckle. Makes the tag with Gordy. And Gordy Sundays his man and then Snooker gets in a cheap shot. Between the count on the break. And let's face it, and uh, Gordy, and Gordy may be having some uh, mental process problems right now. Uh, the disconcertment being caused by Andre and Michael Hayes outside the ring may be uh, messing up uh, Gordy's thought process. He's back to concentrating on his opponent right now, but you notice he keeps looking over and uh, is, in fact, I would think, more concerned about Hayes and Andre than he is about the opponents in the ring. And that could be a very dangerous mistake. Although Snooker, the cool seasoned veteran, moves out there now. And although he was upset initially, seems now to have uh, put Hayes and Andre aside. He's concentrating on his man in the ring. A snapmare takes him to the canvas. Okay, using those feet again so very effectively. Gordy, boot to the midsection, and uh, Gordy now with a snap mare after making the tag with the super foul. And the crowd here watching uh, the match and also watching very carefully to see what Hayes and... Uh, Andre the Giant might be up to, but I can't help but feel that theirs is purely a psychological bit of warfare outside the ring just to see how much uh, worry they can put on uh, the team of Snook and Gordy. Snook has extremely fast hands and fast feet. Good forearm that puts his opponent back to the canvas once again. And uh, Snuka had his attention diverted momentarily, was caught in the midsection as he uh, took some of his time to talk to Andre and Michael Hayes. Terry Gordy. Going after the man who was tagged up. Oh, 
Michael Hayes and Andre the Giant still standing there very quietly. Still no interference of any kind. And this, of course, is something that is a constant worry to everyone. And now Gordy could be in trouble here. A series of right hands to the head. Gordy backing away. And so maybe the diversionary tactics of uh, Michael Hayes and Andre the Giant are beginning to work because Gordy has found himself in definite trouble. And so, tag team combination after him. Gordy trying to recoup it now. Comes off the ropes. Snuka makes the tag. Superfly whips him into the uh, turnbuckle, catches him. Brings him out, beautiful vertical souffle. Well executed. And again, Snuka, you see, is uh, having his attention diverted and once again. Making the comments, but now backing away. Terry Gordy has his man, brings him up for the pile driver. And that has to be the end. It is. It is. A merciful end, I might add, that uh, pile driver is so devastating. And so the Georgia Tag Team Champions, Terry Gordy and Superfly Jimmy Snooker are victorious. And notice the cautious manner in which they're backing away. And I think they're judging the character of Michael Hayes and Andre the Giant by their own character, which means that they wouldn't be the least bit opposed to jumping somebody from behind, but that is not the character of Andre the Giant, that's for sure. The winners, Snuka and Gordy. Champions, I'm referring